Hey guys, there's been a lot of questions about the NMEA network for the Garmin units lately uh, and I thought I'd just do a quick video since I just pulled out my old uh, NMEA backbone that I was using on my old Lowrance HDS units. So here's what you need. Um, Lowrance actually sells the backbone kit. Uh, you can buy it all as, as one big kit um, and then there's a couple of extra pieces you'll probably need as well. So I'll show you what I've got going uh, and what goes to my Garmin units now. Uh, so <clears throat> the backbone kit is this set of T's. So each of these is a separate piece. And then on the end, you always have to terminate both ends with these resistors. Uh, mine say 120 on them, um, but you need at least three uh, T's to make this work, okay? So the first one just goes to power, okay? It's your standard, positive and negative, goes to power and ground, you're done. Simple enough there. The next one here is just a regular, what you would see is the NMEA screw-in end on the back of Garmin and Lowrance units. I believe Humminbird, you have to have a box for this, uh, but this cable will screw directly into the back of your Garmin or Lowrance. Um, and so that's the one that basically sends everything to your, to your graph itself. Where it gets a little tricky is this last one. So this last one's another one of those cables. This one just happens to be quite a bit shorter, but this one actually has to plug into another, in my case, it was a Lowrance uh, red pin to or red end to blue end uh, cable. And so this is what actually connects to the Lowrance provided, in my case, a Yamaha. Uh, this is the Yamaha engine interface cable. And then this is the Lowrance end, uh, this blue end right here. So this end plugs into your motor. It's under the cowl uh, on the starboard side, on, on my motor anyway. That plugs into your motor. This cable then runs back towards your graph. You need this short little two or three foot adapter cable. Again, this red end to blue end. The blue end attaches right here to this. Then this red end is actually an NMEA male end, which will screw in to this NMEA female end on this last T. Uh, once you've got that, you plug it into your graph and you should be good to go. So I hope that helps a few of you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment in the video and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.